Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about solving real-life problems involving functions. So to solve problems that involve functions, you can employ George Polya's four-step approach to problem solving. So ano ba yung four-step rule na to? Step 1, explore the problem. So dito guys, uh, we need to understand the problem and choose a variable for an unknown quantity. So, commonly, ang ginagamit natin dito is si x. Okay? So, number two, plan the solution. So, in this step, uh, we will devise a plan, then write the equations that describes the relationships between or among the variables is involved. Okay? Then, step three, solve the equations. Okay, so dito guys, ang gagawin nyo lang is just carry out the plan and answer the questions in the problem. Okay, then number four, check the solutions. So dito, uh, you can employ uh, the use of other approaches to examine the appropriateness of the answer. Okay, so let's have our first example. A proposed light rail transit system line 1 or LRT1 fare would charge 18 pesos for the first four stations and 5 pesos for each additional station over the proposed fare. So letter A, find the fare function f of x where x represents the number of stations traveled. Letter B, find the proposed fare for 15 stations and letter C, Find the proposed fare for 20 stations. Okay, so unay natin yung letter A. Find the fare function f of x where x represents the number of stations traveled. So according kay Polya's uh, four-step approach, ang first step natin is to explore. Tama? So dito guys, uh, kailangan makapag-label tayo ng ating mga known and unknown facts. Ano yung unang yon? So, we can uh, let x be the number of stations traveled. Okay, so ito yung ating uh, unknown variable. Next, uh, may isa pang conditions na sinabi dito sa ating problem. Okay, so sabi dyan, uh, mag a tayo ng 5 pesos for each additional station over the proposed fare. Okay, ano ba yung ano? Ano ba yung sinasabi dito? Pag lumagpas daw tayo sa 4 stations, magdadagdag tayo ng 5 pesos. Tama? So, may dalawa tayong uh, stations traveled na binanggit dito. So, ang gagawin nyo lang is mag assign kayo ng uh, another expression which is x minus 4. Okay? So, ito yung number of Stations traveled Okay Over 4 stations So pag sumobra na sa 4 stations Yung ating um, Yung ating distance traveled So ang gagamitin na natin yung x minus 4 Tama So ngayon Ang next step natin is to plan Okay, so isusulat na natin yung ating equation that will represent the relationships between the known and unknown quantities. Okay, so ano ba yung una nating alam? Uh, since we know that if we travel four stations, okay, so sabi dito guys, pag nakapag-travel daw tayo ng four stations, meron tayong fixed fare. Okay, we must pay 18 pesos. Tama? Pagka ang travel daw natin is from 0 to, o yung stations traveled natin is from 0 to 4 stations, meron tayong fixed fare na 18 pesos. Tama? So, ito yung ating gagamiting function kung ang ating distance traveled lang is from 0 to 4 uh, stations. Okay? However, uh, if we traveled more than 4 stations, sabi dito sa ating problem, di ba, pagka nag-over na tayo dun sa proposed fare, may additional tayong 5 pesos. 
So, ibig sabihin, pagka ang distance traveled natin is lumagpas na guys sa apat, mag-iiba yung ating function. Okay? So, gamit yung ating fixed fare na 18 pesos, madadagdagan na ngayon yan guys ng magkano. Sabi dito, 5 pesos for each additional station. So, mag a tayo ng 5. Okay? For each additional um, station. So, ano yun? Yun yung ating x minus 4. Okay? So, try natin. 5 times x minus 4. Ito yung sobra sa apat. Okay? So, ngayon, simplify natin to guys. So, we have um, f of x is equals to 18. Distribute natin si 5. So, that's 5x minus 20. Tama? So, simplify natin to. So, ang f of x natin is equals to 5x, then 18 minus 20, that's negative 2. Okay? So, at this point, we can say that the fair function is f of x is equals to 5x minus 2. Okay? So, ito na yung sagot natin kay letter A. So, next, letter B. So, sabi kay B, find the proposed fare for 15 stations. So, magkano rin yung babayaran natin pagka ang binyahi natin sa LRT1 is 15 stations. So, try natin. Letter B. So, dito ang ating X is 15. Okay? The number of stations traveled. So, ngayon, ang gagawin nyo lang is to evaluate yung ating fair function using x equals 15. Okay, guys? So, i-input lang natin yan dito. So, we have f of 15 is equals to 5 times 15 minus 2. So, pag sinolve natin to guys, 5 times 15, that is 75. Tama? Then, minus 2. So, ang sagot natin dito is 73 pesos. Okay, ibig sabihin, pagka ang uh, na-traveled mo daw is 15 stations, so ang babayaran natin is 73 pesos. Okay? So, last, letter C. Find the proposed fare for 20 stations. Okay, so sa letter C naman, ang value ng ating x is equals to 20. Tama? So, same procedure guys. Substitute lang natin. We have f of 20 using our fair function is equals to 5x. Then, ang x natin is 20 minus 2. Okay, simplify natin. 5 times 20, that is 100 minus 2. So, ibig sabihin, pagka ang na, uh, stations traveled natin is 20, ang babayaran natin is 98 pesos. Naintindihan ba guys? Okay, so let's have another example. Number 2. So, Lucena Network charges 450 pesos monthly cable connection fee plus 130 pesos for each hour of pay-per-view. Okay? So, event regardless of a full hour or a fraction of an hour. So, letter A, find the payment function f of x where x represents the number of PP, PPV hours. Yun yung pay-per-view. Letter B, what's the monthly bill of a customer who, who watch 25 hours of uh, pay-per-view events? Letter C, what's the monthly bill of a customer who watch uh, 0.5 hour or of pay-per-view events? Okay, so unahin natin yung letter A, guys. So, dito, guys, uh, meron tayong unknown variable. Yun yung ating x. So, we let x be the number of um, pay-per-view hours. Tama? In a month. Okay, ito yung ating unknown, var unknown variable. So, ano yung mga alam naman natin? Ano yung mga known? So, sabi dito, uh, yung Lucena Network daw is nag-charge 
ng 450 pesos. Okay, so try na nating uh, isulat yung ating payment function, yung ating f of x. Okay? So sabi dito, Lucena Network charges 450 pesos. So yun yung fixed rate natin. So meron tayong f of x is equals to 450. Then, meron tayong additional guys. Sabi dyan, plus 130 pesos. Okay, mag add daw tayo ng 130 pesos for each hour of pay-per-view. Yun yung ating unknown variable, which is x. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, ang ating uh, payment function is equals to uh, 450 plus 130x. Yan na yung ating letter A. Okay? So, next, letter B. What is the monthly bill of a customer who watch 25 hours of pay-per-view events? Okay? Yung 25 hours of pay-per-view events, yan yung value ng ating x. Tama? So, meron tayong x equals 25. So, ngayon, paano natin malalaman kung magkano yung babayaran? Ang gagawin nyo lang, guys, is i-input natin yung value ng ating x doon sa ating payment function. Okay, so try natin. We have f of 25 is equals to 450 plus 130 times x. Yun nga yung ating 25. Okay, then simplify natin to guys. So, 450 plus 130 times 25, that is 3,250. Tama? So, therefore, ang babayaran natin doon sa ating 25 hours of pay-per-view events is meron tayong total na 3,750. Nakuha, guys? So, letter C. What is the monthly bill of a customer who watch a 0.5 hour or of pay-per-view events? Okay, so dito guys, ang letter C natin, X is equals to 0.5. Okay? So, paano natin masolve kung magkano yung babayaran ng ating customer? So, may sinabi dun sa ating uh, problem guys. Sabi dito, um, Regardless of a full hour or a fraction of an hour. Ibig sabihin, kung 0.5 yung nagamit na pay-per-view doon sa letter C, okay, ang babayaran niya is equivalent to 1 hour. Okay? So, automatic siya as an hour. Okay? So, ang gagamitin natin for letter C is 1. Tama? So, ito ngayon guys, yung ating i-input dito sa ating payment function. So, try natin. So, f of 1 is equals to 450 plus 130 x. Yun yung value ng ating x, which is 1. So, simplify natin to So, 450 plus 130 times 1, this is 130. So, ang babayaran natin dito, guys, is 450 plus 130, which, ito ay 580 pesos. Ito yung babayaran ng ating customer. Naintindihan ba, guys? So, this is the end of our video. So, I hope naintindihan nyo, guys, kung paano pa mag-solve ng real-life problems involving functions. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!